Mahalo and salutations. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Cut Tutorials. So the topic for today's video is color grading. What I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, put a one minute video edit together using a bunch of footage I already have on my hard drive. Um, it's footage that I've shot from a couple of different cameras and I thought this would be a good example to show you how to color grade for different camera types but then also make it seem like there's a cohesive theme and a color palette while putting an edit together. So I have footage from the Sony a7S III, the Canon 1DX Mark II, the Canon C70, the Mavic Air 2, the Mavic Pro, and even red. So I thought this would be a nice way to kind of show you how I can color grade for different uh, camera types, but then also show you how to get a cinematic look that could be amazing for YouTube, films, whatever it is you're looking to do on your own. Now before we dive right in, I just wanted to mention that all of the music used in today's tutorial is from our sponsor, Audio. We all know finding amazing royalty-free music for your videos can be a struggle, but Audio just released their new subscription plan called Audio Pro, what I did for this video is I went to the Genres tab and selected World, and I downloaded five amazing songs that I heard. What is amazing about Audio Pro is not only do they have really good music, but they have over 30,000 sound effects as well. And just like Artlist, you get the all-inclusive rights to use the music and sound effects for your videos, even if they're commercial, if they're for YouTube, whatever it may be, but actually at a cheaper cost of $17 a month, which equals $200 a year. If you are someone like me who does make a lot of videos, this is actually a game changer because even if you do cancel your subscription, any songs or sound effects you downloaded, you have uh, the licensing for perpetuity for the rest of your life, so you can use them for uh, music videos, commercials, whatever it may be, um, and you never have to worry about it, so that's really cool. Now with all that being said, let's watch the video edit I put together, then I'll break down how I color graded everything. I'm not giving up on that. Baby, you and me world fire. I'm not giving up just yet. Baby, you and me world fire. But there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video edit. Let's go ahead and dive in now and I'll show you how I color graded the different footage. So for this first clip, it was shot on the Canon 1DX Mark II and the color profile was Cine Style. So the first step I use when color grading is I'll go into the effects tab. I'll type in Lumetri into Adobe Premiere. I'll select Lumetri color, drag and drop it on. And then I'll go to the creative tab under look. I'll hit browse and I'll go to the cinema pack, which is actually a folder which has a bunch of LUTs that I have created for different camera types. If you don't currently have my filters, I'll put a link in the description in order to download the cinema pack. You of course can color grade without LUTs or filters, but I enjoy using them as starting points to get the colors correct. If you are interested in getting the cinema pack, the link will be in the description. So since this was shot on the Canon 1DX Mark II, I'll select DSLR filters, now, as you can see, there's a different range of LUTs to choose from. For this, since it is of a model, I'll select DSLR skin tones. And as you can see, it's a pretty good starting point. Just like any filter, it's not gonna just be one stop shop. You're gonna wanna tweak the colors depending on the environment. So the first thing I like to do is adjust for the lighting. I'm gonna select curves. I'll go down to the RGB curves and I'm just gonna raise the highlights a bit. Next, I'm gonna bring this middle back towards the blue line. And lastly, I'll bring down the blacks to have a bit more contrast. I'll raise up the low end a little bit more to make sure it's not too harsh on our skin. And then what I like to do is adjust the highlight tint and shadow tint. 
Highlights, I usually like dragging it towards the pink a little bit. And for shadows, I'll bring it towards the orange just to warm it up. But then lastly, a nice trick I like to do is smooth out the skin tones using Cosmo, which is part of the Magic Bullet Suite. So as you can see, when I select Cosmo and turn it on, in the drop down menu, I can hit the little dropper, select the color of the skin tone, and when you toggle between on and off, you can see it smooths out the skin a little bit. You could even adjust the percentage of how smooth you want the skin to be. And then the before and after, definitely adds a more cinematic feel to it. Next, here's another shot of my friend Thea, and this time it's in front of a waterfall. So again, I'm gonna start with Lumetri Color, go to Creative, under Look, hit Browse, and since this also was shot on the 1DX Mark II, I'm gonna stick within the DSLR filters. This time, I'm gonna select DSLR Waterfall, and as you can see, it's a pretty good base, but the filter is a little strong. What you can go ahead and do is go to the Intensity Meter, and just bring it down a bit, maybe to about 85. Again, I'm gonna go to Curves, bring down the black levels just a bit, I'm gonna raise the middle and the highlights. Not too much, don't want the waterfall to be blown out. And then next what I can do is scroll down here to the green and the blue area, and then adjust the saturation, because as you can see, it's starting to distort in the back. So I'll bring down the saturation. Then I wanna bring some more saturation back into her skin tone, so I'm gonna go to orange and red, boost that up a little bit. Go to highlight and shadow tint again. Shadows I'm gonna bring towards the green, to give it that jungle feel. And then highlights towards the pink here, maybe more towards orange, keep it nice and warm. Then lastly, I'm gonna turn on Cosmo again from the Magic Bullet Suite. Select the dropper, click it on her skin tone. And as you can see, it really smooths it out. You can adjust how smooth you want it to be. Right now it's at 25%, but you can raise it, lower it based on where you want. And there you go before, after. Next, we're gonna go to this drone shot of Bali. Again, drop on Lumetri Color, Creative, Browse, and this time, since it's a drone shot, instead of using DSLR filters, go back to the Cinema Pack, select Drone, and then we can use Drone Jungle. As you can see, that's already pretty good, but I may wanna just tweak the lighting a bit raise up the blacks just a little so we can maintain some detail in the shadow. Bring this middle down, back to normal. Let's maybe bring the highlights down a bit too. You don't want it to be too blown out. As you can see, there's distortion happening within the pinks and the highlights here. So what you can do is go down to hue and saturation, lower the pinks a bit so it's not having that distortion. You don't want to lose all the green that's happening in the rice field, so let's bring up the green. Bring up the blue a bit. And then again, lastly, highlight tint, shadow tint. Let's bring the shadows towards green, somewhere between green and orange, nice and warm. Then again, highlights towards the pink, gives it that nice kind of sunrise feel. Maybe a bit towards orange here. And another cool thing you can do with drone shots is sometimes if you're filming with the Mavic Air, or if it's dark, there can be a lot of noise. So within the Magic Bullet suite, other than Cosmo, which I like using, I'll also use Denoiser. You can drop Denoiser on, and as you can see, it automatically samples a frame. So this is the 23rd frame within the shot, and it applies a smoothing to the different colors so there's less noise. So for this next clip, it was shot on the Sony a7S III. Again, gonna start with Lumetri, Creative, for look, browse, cinema pack. And you could select DSLR filters because this also applies to the Sony a7S, the Canon R5, the 1DX. It works for almost all DSLR and mirrorless cameras as well. For this one, I'll select jungle, go to curves, bring down the highlights so it's not too blown out. Let's bring down the blacks a bit also. Try to get that exposure correct. Highlights. Put them more towards orange. Shadows towards orange green as well. Perfect. Now this is a cool drone shot which was filmed on the Mavic Pro 2 in D-Log. Apply Lumetri Color, Creative, Browse. Now instead of DSLR filters, we're gonna go to Drone, 
Let's try jungle. It's looking good. Maybe lower intensity just a little bit. Let's go to curves. Let's maybe like raise the shadows without blowing out our highlights. Let's bring this tint over towards orange a bit. Shadow tint towards orange as well. Keep it nice and warm. Go to hue and saturation. Let's bring up this green a little bit. It's looking good. Before, after, before, after. Some really nice color tones. Now here's another drone shot which was filmed on the Mavic Air. And as you can see, there's quite a bit more noise in the shadows here. So we're gonna do Lumetri Color, Creative, Browse, still using Drone. Let's try Ocean. Go down to Curves. First, let's lower the intensity just a little bit since it's already a dark shot. Maybe bring shadow tint down towards the blues here. Give it that nice Knight Rider vibe. Highlights again. I like towards the pink a bit, like it's magic hour. Don't want these colors distorting too much down there. So let's bring down hue and saturation in the pink a bit. And then what I like to do is you can select reduce noise. I like that about 10. That way it's you don't lose too much detail. Smooth colors about 10, 10 preserve detail, and then the sharpen amount only at five. I'm gonna show you another example of a drone shot here. This time it was in California towards sunset. Again, this is on the Mavic Pro 2, so I'm filming in D-Log. Gonna drop on Lumetri, Creative, Browse. I'm gonna do Drone Sunset. Colors look really good, so we're gonna go to Curves. Going to bring everything down a bit. Make sure the highlights are not too blown out. Bring down the black so you can still see the shadows there. And honestly, that looks pretty good as is. Lumetri on and off, it makes a huge difference as you can see. And then last thing you can apply again if you're wanting to is denoiser. So I have this nice shot here which was filmed on the Canon C70. Golden hour at the beach, put on Lumetri Color, go to Creative, Browse, back at the Cinema Pack, gonna select DSLR Filters, DSLR Sunset, and as you can see, it's nice and warm, but maybe a little too much, gonna bring down the intensity a bit. Awesome. Shadow tin, already know I'm gonna wanna be a little more green here. Highlights, maybe bring it towards blue since we are getting a lot of orange from the sun, so don't want skin tones to be lost too, too much. Let's go to curves, add a little more contrast, bring down the blacks a bit, and it's looking really good. Before, after, not a huge difference, but definitely makes it feel more cinematic. Lastly, if you're wanting to within the Magic Bullet suite, you can go ahead and turn on Cosmo, select the dropper, select the skin tone, and gonna lower skin smooth to about 10%, or else you're gonna lose all the detail in your face, so. Before, after. Another thing I like to do, because a lot of these super flat profiles like S-Log and C-Log, um, you can lose a lot of detail, so what I'll do is bring the detail back by going to just sharpen. Throw sharpen on, and I like to put it at 12. This just adds some more detail, and especially in a shot like this, if you're applying Cosmo or some sort of skin smoother, Sharpen just helps to maintain the details within the shot. And now this was one of my favorite shots to color grade, because as you can see, you have this amazing green, and it was fun being able to choose what color and saturation to make this look like a magical forest. So this is a drone shot filmed in D-Log on the Mavic Pro 2. In the cinema pack, I'm gonna select drone filters, Drone Forest, and as you can see, it really livens up this whole green and jungle environment. Gonna lower the intensity just a little bit, not too much, gonna go to curves, bring down the highlights, because as you can see, she's wearing all white, it's already starting to blow out a bit. Another way of fixing that is going into highlight tint and just adding some color into the highlight so it's not pure white. Shadow tint, gonna go towards like green-orange here. 
Gonna go to Hue versus Luma and just bring down this orange a little bit. What I'm gonna do is go to Hue and Saturation and bring up the green. And then Hue versus Hue and go ahead and really explore what color of green you're wanting to, for this kind of magical forest. So it's personal preference. I think a green like this looks really nice. So if you look at the before and after, you can tell it adds a lot more color into the scene. One thing I have noticed recently, and if you're getting this problem as well, I found a workaround. But sometimes when I'm coloring within Adobe Premiere, and I export it out onto my computer and I watch it back, I notice that it loses a lot of saturation within the colors, especially within the oranges and the greens. So, as a workaround, I found if you wanted to go ahead and hit Command E to export, what I do is I select H.264 for preset, I'll select Vimeo 4K. For video, since the sequence setting is 4096 by 2160, I'll hit match source. So it's at 4096, 2160. I'll select use maximum render quality when exporting. And now to make sure that you don't actually lose saturation when exporting, I go to effects, click Lumetri look slash LUT. For applied, I'll select and then in Dropbox, I'll actually include a link within the description, but it's called QT Gamma Compensation. So when you apply this cube and you hit open, as you can see, it adds more contrast and darkens the shot. So that way when you export, you don't lose any saturation or colors and it will look the exact way as when coloring within Adobe Premiere. All you're left to do then is hit export and you're good to go. Well, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you want to check out Audio Pro to get a subscription, I'm gonna put the link in the description. That rhymes. Also, if you wanted to um, get the cinema pack and the video filters that I used in this video to color grade, the link for that is also in the description. And I'm excited to announce that the next video I will be sharing and posting here on my YouTube is gonna be a music video for an original song that I made. So um, I have a bunch of footage from like India, Bali, and a bunch of other cool places. And I wanted to use a song and make a song um, that would go with all of that footage. So uh, me and some friends decided to make an amazing song. And uh, I'm really excited to share it with you guys and girls and animals, whoever's watching. Um, so yeah, please stay tuned, look out for that. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, so that way you can be notified for when that comes out. And also uh, comment below any other topics you wanna see me cover. I'm happy to share as much information as I possibly can, so I'll read all the comments. And um, yeah, until the next time, uh, stay healthy, hakuna matata, and like always, and yes.